How's it going everybody? Nathaniel from RC Insight here and today I am going over some of our first legitimate LEGO video images here. Uh, somehow I missed these earlier today when they first came out courtesy of Nino Leaks. So I am going over them now. It is 2 a.m. So apologies if I sound a little tired. That is because I am. Uh, but I wanted to talk about these sets because I was not super interested in video. And now I'm thinking I might be. So we have a couple things here. We've got some figure leaks. And then so first off, uh, it appears that the minifigures come in these beatbox sets. So as you can see here, this is the llama minifigure, which has been leaked for a while. I love this llama head. I think it looks so, so cool. Uh, you can see inside here some of the tiles that LEGO was talking about, and they're similar to the tiles that you get in Super Mario that uh, connect to the app. So these are going to have some uh, level of exclusivity and collectability and directly integrate into the app. I assume they're connected to specific songs or albums and unlocking specific songs or albums for video, but that's my just assumption at this point. Uh, you'll notice that there's a piece that looks like a rubber band, haven't really seen anything like that before, so I assume that you can actually kind of carry these. And you have the minifigure on display at the front here, and then back in behind there at the back of this, there is a mosaic, which I think is really cool. This really gets me interested and on board with this idea. Uh, and so here's the box. So 82 pieces. Um, I think this is a really cool way to do minifigures, quite honestly. It's much nicer than just having single collectible minifigures. Uh, in the range of like 60 to 80 piece sets, I think is going to be awesome to get the the mosaic on the back. I think this is really cool. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited for this and seeing these sets follow this format and seeing the range of minifigures we saw in the promo video earlier and some of the rumors that have been around, uh, you know, I expect we have currently three of these promo things available. Uh, there's a kind of fourth one that's semi, it doesn't actually show you the uh, beatbox on this fourth one up here, but I assume that we're going to be getting lots of these beatbox sets, which is exciting. So anyway, get, that's kind of getting some of the generals out of the way as to what these sets are going to look like. So in terms of other stuff that's been leaked, we have the mermaid beatbox set. Um, there's no box image here, uh, but you can see, so again, the mermaid figure, I love this guitar piece. I love the hair piece. And I, actually, I love all of this. I think this is a fantastic minifigure. I think we have got mermaid body prints like that before, um, but she just looks great. And again, you can see the tiles in here. I mean, it's kind of, it's the exact same. They're all going to follow the exact same design pattern. Um, and then the mosaic at the back is going to be different. And I really like this mosaic. Uh, it's nice that already you right away, you see, uh, you know, a more uh, masculine sort of set and then a more feminine sort of set. Um, I, I really like that you're getting something that's going to appeal to everyone with these. I think that's really nice. And I love actually this pink and purple color scheme here. Uh, then this is another one of those crazy minifigures that we saw in the promo video. Um, man, so this is a headpiece, I'm assuming, because he has a head back there. I'm really, this is probably the minifigure that I'm most interested in so far. I love the llama as well. Um, but that headpiece, man, I'm sure that this cyborg like VR interface is, is a part of the hairpiece. I think that's just an insane looking piece. Um, this is a really, really cool minifigure. And I like that it's like almost a stereo beatbox on the back of this beatbox set. That's so cool. Uh, this one is probably going to be on my radar to pick up, quite honestly. I'm really excited about that. Uh, so then additional news in relation to the sets. We talked about kind of what all these beatbox sets are going to look like as evidenced by these photos. Um, so also each LEGO video set will include 16 random of these two by two tiles. So again, I don't know exactly what these tiles do and are linked up to, but I know that they are linked to the app in some way and you are going to want to collect them. I don't know how you know what all of them are. I don't know if there's going to be a way or a place where you can see all the different uh, collectible tiles in the app and then be able to tell which ones you have and which ones you don't. I think we'll have to wait and see for that. 
Um, but getting 16 with each set and being random, I think, is a, a good way of doing it because there's a bit of luck to it. Uh, but then you're also not going around and buying individuals to get them all. Uh, and so there's just an assortment of what some of the different 2x2 two two tiles look like here. I don't want to speculate too much on the tiles themselves just because we don't have the app yet. We don't have the sets yet. So, so I'll hold off on trying to figure out exactly what those all do. Uh, but good to know that each set comes with 16 tiles, which is quite a lot. Um, it makes me a little worried about price point, but we'll see. I, there's a lot of new and exclusive pieces here, uh, but we'll see about price point. I'm hopeful it'll be okay. Uh, and then lastly, there's also another minifigure leak, and you can see his beatbox in the background there as well to a, an extent. I wish I could tell what the back mosaic was. You can't but you can see the overall color scheme and also the set number is here as well, uh, 43103. So this is uh, all good to know. This gu anchor guitar looks really cool. I love that. And again, I really like the hairpiece here. This is probably the second favorite minifigure because he's got the peg leg down there as well that you're noticing is just showing. I, I really love the attention to detail on his outfit. Even the fact that it's not just like a dual molded, molded torso with the different uh, torso and arm colors. There's literally printing on the arms as well. Uh, so this is the detail that are going into these minifigures is awesome. It just, again, makes me a little nervous about price point and how how expensive they'll be. But yeah, this looks, this looks really great. Uh, these are all really promising. And I think you're going to have a lot of collectors getting these sets for the minifigures. I don't know if you're going to get new fans coming in for the TikTok craze idea. Uh, maybe if the U.S. goes through with banning TikTok, you might get some migration over to this platform. I don't know how many new people they're going to draw in with it, but I think lots of LEGO fans are going to be fawning over these minifigures and collectible tiles. So I think LEGO might be able to pull this off. I'm excited for these sets. I'm excited to see all the images released. I definitely will not be getting a ton of them, but I think I might pick up one or two that I find the most appealing, and that's currently these top two minifigures, but I'm excited to see what else comes along. So let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on these uh, new images that we have for LEGO Video. Do you think it's going to be a success? I did an entire video on LEGO Video and my thoughts of it based on the promo, so I'll link that in the description. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that this is going to work out or do you think this is going to be a failure for LEGO? It's kind of a new direction. Uh, but I kind of, I like what I'm seeing here, despite it being kind of very different. I, I like what I'm seeing and I'm optimistic for when all these set images become available. So guys, that is this news video. Uh, click the like button down below if you like the video just to show your support. It's much appreciated. Uh, subscribe if you're looking for more Lego news like this. I try to get on top of Lego news as soon as it comes out. Uh, sometimes I'm a, a few hours behind like with this. But uh, I tend to be pretty on top of it and am a good place to go to get your news right away. So subscribe to be notified as soon as there's news. And then, of course, I do reviews, speed builds, and all sorts of other stuff as well. So, again, subscribe if you're interested in any of that content. And with all that said, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Lego video. Haha. <laughs>